Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Ultra Skin Pro Pool Cue Tip. Something that I had just thrown on my cue not too long ago, so we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to give you my opinion on how it's hitting and how it's feeling to me. Remember, a pool cue tip is a highly personal item. So this video is going to be geared towards those who enjoy hitting a medium cue tip. It's also going to be geared for those that are on the fence that are still on a journey trying to figure out what kind of q-tip they actually like specifically though this is also a video for people who loved mori back in the day when it first came out and also noticed that there may have been a little bit of a decline in the performance of that q-tip okay so we're gonna be talking about a bunch of stuff in this video and uh well let's get to it okay I just want to get this done and out of the way YouTube requires me to tell you whether this is sponsored or not it is not sponsored okay I am making this video because I am genuinely impressed with the q-tip okay so Anyone who's been following my channel knows that I've been changing things up over the last little bit. So I actually changed cues. I shoot with a J flower instead of my uh, Hubler that I've shot with for decades. I've actually gone down in the shaft size from a 12.5 down to 11.8. That's been different. The carbon fibers been different. And I also changed out my Q-tip, okay? Um, since 2015, I've shot with a Kamui Clear. Why I switched to a Kamui Clear from a Mori is because I had noticed that the quality of the Mori had gone downhill. It didn't hit like it used to, like the, it did not give me the feel that I used to have when I shot with my Mori mediums. I love those Mori mediums. It was life changing. I mean, in the mid nineties, I shot with $1 La Pros, right? And anyone who shot with those and, or Elk Masters or all those single layer tips you know you knew that they mushroomed we were always working them with our q-tip uh, tools so um, for me to get a, a layered tip for the first time which was the mori medium it was a game changer for me but what i want to do is go back to that video that darcy changed out my tip okay because the q-tip that i got with my j flowers q was a mori medium it says right on the site mori medium right so I was miscuing. It was garbage. I had to do something. I had my confidence was going downhill to actually put in some extreme sauce on the cue ball. I was always afraid that I was going to miscue. It was terrible. I had to pop that cue off and do something different. So let's cut away. Let's take a look at what Darcy said here because he says a bunch of interesting things. So yeah, I'm going to cut. The, I'm going to cut this tip off. And to me, it looks a little darker than the Maury's that I remember, um, you know, I stopped using Mori after the last hurricane or typhoon that was in Japan because they lost their factory. And I want to say that Mori stopped making tips and he sold out. Now this thing is on there really well. Okay. I know Andre said that that was a, potentially a Mori medium. That thing was hard. So I, I, I don't think it was a medium. That thing, that cut very, very hard. <laughs> so who knows? Uh, who knows? They make a lot of these things all at the same time in the factory and they mean in China or Japan? I'm not overseas at any rate, and they, they fly through these things, so whatever. Sometimes mistakes get made. That is some interesting things. He said some stuff there that I had never heard before. But So, you know, this is not going to be a review on a Q-tip that perhaps you have seen on other YouTube channels. Mostly because I don't blow smoke up people's asses. 
<laughs> I've alluded already that a Q-tip is a personal item. So you're not going to see me hitting any balls in this video. Uh, you're not going to see me, you know, stroking it and turning to the camera and saying, wow, that's an amazing Q-tip, right? You should buy it. Okay. I'm not going to do that. What I want to do is go back to the internet and let's poke around and let's see if we can investigate some stuff and learn some things. Okay, so first I want to go to jflowerscues.com and you know, really you could just go anywhere. And a lot of sites are like this where if you go to, for example, any sort of queue, they'll offer you tip options. And here you see this proves they said that they sent a Mori medium and that comes standard on their queues, right? It doesn't matter what queue you order. I would just get whatever comes standard on the queue. And as soon as you get it on your hands, pop that Q-tip off because who knows what happens? Like Darcy said there, I mean, he even felt that it wasn't hard just by cutting it off or it wasn't medium just by cutting it off. So from now on, if I ever order a queue, I'm not even going to attempt to even hit with the queue. I'm just going to take it to my guy. You do the same, take it to your guy, take it to your girl locally in your city and you know, get them to pop it off and get something on there that you know and that you trust. If you head over to moribrand.com, I believe this to be the website of Mori. And it looks pretty legit. And you can poke around yourself for the life of me. Like here, if you went to the history section and you can go down, remember what Darcy said about them selling out eventually and then also they, them losing their factory in a hurricane. For the life of me, I cannot find that anywhere, anywhere in their history here. And they've got it as, you know, recent, you know, the end of 2020. So I don't know, maybe the hurricane or they sold out after 2020. But if you poke around anywhere else on the internet, uh, I can't find, I can't confirm what Darcy said, but I know Darcy to be, um, look at this, they have problems with, counterfeit or fake Mori tips, eh? Because everyone's trying to copy Mori, you know? <laughs> they were good, but look at this, eh? Before 2015, they changed, they're changing up their boxing and everything. So they were the staple, I'm sorry. Like they were the staple and now there's so many options out there. Um, they're not the staple anymore, <laughs> that's for certain. And you know, I can't prove what happened. I can't prove it but they are not as good. They're just, they just don't hit the same. And that's why I switched to Kamui. Let's go take a look at a Kamui. You head over to the Kamui brand uh, webpage and you go to their products and you can see your tips. And, and this is what I've shot with. Here's the Kamui tips clear. I, this is what I've shot with for the last eight years. And what I'll say is this has been a great tip, um, but it never took me to that special vibe in place that, in stroke place like that Mori medium took me to back in the day, right? I, I, I mean, I, I really genuinely do like the Kamui Clear. Very, very nice tip. Um, but after playing with this Ultra Skin Pro, I like it way more. I just do. Um, it's given me the old Mori feel. And that's why I think that the Ultra Skin Pros are offering something that you know, all these companies like Kamui can't, and it's an extremely competitive rate and an, an extremely high quality of products. So let's head over to that website because it's a pretty interesting story. If you head over to layeredqtips.com, that is the Ultra Skin Q-tips webpage. And one thing you see right away is like, even just coming from Kamui's website, which is very sleek, very professional, this, this is very mom and pop. And you know what? I'm okay with that. You know why? Because the product is not mom and pop, okay? Um, because the guy behind this, his name is Tom Hay. I don't know him. I know Darcy. Darcy knows him because he's, you know, a distributor for him here in Canada, right? But the more you poke around this website, the more you find out things about Tom and his background. And this is what really excites me. So when he talks about himself here, you start seeing something like he used to make cues. OK, 
okay? And a necessary evil of having a lathe and all that was actually doing Q-tip repair, right? And look what he says here. I, however, heard of a new tip called Mori, right? They were the staple and they were so good. And yeah, when I used to have my LaPro, I would pay a dollar for my LaPro. And then all of a sudden I was paying $30 for a tip and a, and a, and a Q shaft uh, cleaning, right? From, from these guys that did this for a living, right? So that was a huge jump up, but it was so worth it. But this is what I really like to see here, right here. I don't have a board of directors needing to make $100,000 a year, okay? He was a Q maker, he was a Q repair person, and he wanted to have basically a better margin for a high quality product, okay? So he has a background in chemistry and so he started making these tips. So, you know, and look, here's Darcy. This is one of Darcy's videos. So the more you poke around, so if I go to, for example, here are the tips, okay? This is the one I have, the Ultra Skin Fire. And I'm going to expand these here. And you're going to see the one that I'm hitting with, the hit of the Ultra Skin Fire has a firmness and elasticity in between the Ultra Skin Black and Ivory. So there's the ivory and there's the black. So interesting that he says that. So the hardness or the soft, medium, hard. And I do not believe that that will change. Okay. But he's saying that this is sort of in between. And I'm kind of an in-between guy when it comes to hardness and softness, right? Um, here he just talks about how he tans the pig skin, right? This one comes in the soft, medium, hard. And then the black each piece of leather blah 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 so he's talking about that if you go to the home page oh this was the home page where did i see that install facts oh yes okay frequently asked questions so then he talks about how he's tested them all and then he does the hardness ratings on top of it right so you can see that the black uh, the very soft gets down to 62.2 which is basically the lowest of his three tips so basically if you want a soft tip he's suggesting going with the black because that'll get you to the softest the ivory those are all the hardness sendings right so you know he's talking about consistency he's got 10 layers of pigskin he's talking about pricing this is basically what i'm coming from here is um he is a cue maker and he wanted to pass along the savings to guys like Darcy and guys or girls. I'm sure girls out there do cue repair and they've got that lathe and um, they just wanted to give bigger margins. So if you go back to the homepage, take a look at the pricing. Okay. 10 tips, 32.50. Okay. And then if you want to add additional tips, so basically the distributors are only paying $3.25 per tip, okay? So you're able to get a high quality product for a very, well, they are getting a high quality product for a very cheap price. And then when they throw it on their queue, you know, everybody's different. Everybody marks it up differently. But just so you know, these are very, ex they're extremely competitively priced. So in the end, all I can go for is what I've experienced with it. And this one here, the Ultra Skin Fire, bam, it feels great. In fact, it feels like a Mori to me. So in conclusion, I would have no problem recommending this Ultra Skin Fire tip, medium, to anyone who plays with medium layer tips. Um, if you're on the fence, absolutely give it a shot. It's giving you the best of both worlds. And it really is, well, to me at least, and this is a taste thing. If you liked the Mori's back in the day, give this a shot. This is 10 layers of pig skin goodness. Okay. I learned a lot poking around on the internet. So um, I had fun making this video. I hope that you guys learned something too. So uh, yeah. In the meantime and in between time, I will catch you on the flip side.